And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cheap Lutes, and we're here to do a Tony Parker gameplay. Got the new Diamond Tony Parker card, 95 offense, 87 defense, so it actually helps with lower overall cheesing a little bit. Um, 94 mid, 84 3 pointer, obviously you'd like to see that be a little higher, but it's okay. 94 driving layup, but no driving dunk whatsoever. 95 ball handle, which is good. 85 steel with an 80 perimeter defense pretty solid he's got a 97 speed 96 people ball 96 acceleration with an 85 vertical even though he can't dunk pretty solid he has that 89 lateral quickness so he doesn't have clamps and you can't put clamps on him but with that lateral quickness if you on ball you should be good um he has a 99 drive tendency so he's going to start his driving animations early which is good that's actually helpful um let's check the rest of it uh, he's got a three play discipline tendency. So if you're running him a shooting guard and running a lot of plays, he's not going to stick with the plays as much, which does hurt his value, especially because he has like a goal to catch and shoot. So he has a 70 crash tendency, which is really good for a point guard. 70 pass intercept, which is solid. 65 on ball steal. 11 shot contest. So if you're not playing on ball defense with him, he's not even going to attempt to put up anything. And a 99 hard foul tendency holy shit that's bad that's that's not good he's gonna rack up flagrants he has a higher hard foul tendency than draymond um he's got four hoff badges um downhill quick first step tear dropper uh gold catch and shoot gold corner specialist difficult shots ankle breaker he's got dimer pickpocket fancy footwork space creator which is good tight handles unpluckable he has dead eye green machine hot zone hunter he unfortunately is steady of course and gold floor general you can give him relentless finisher which, I mean, I guess helps. Um, pick dodger, defensive leader, interceptor, intimidator. Those are helpful badges. You should probably add those to him to give him a little, a little bit of defense. Um, like I said, you cannot give him clamps, consistent finisher. Um, you can give him giant slayer, which is important. You cannot give him range extender either. So you can't give this card clamps or range extender, which are arguably two of the more important bar or badges in this game. So... Of course. So this is the team we're running with. They're surrounding him with defense to try to help him out with Michael Cooper, Julius Irving, Josh Smith, and Timmy D. Let's check the hot zones. Ooh, interesting jump shot. Yeah. Um, I mean, so Tony Parker basically has base 98. Um, Tony Parker base is just a little bit slower than like a traditional uh, base 98 or Dwayne Wade base, but it's relatively the same. So it's a three hunting base. It's really, really fast. You're going to be able to get shots off pretty quick. Um, <coughs> relatively easy to time, though that 84 three-pointer does hurt him. But using Mike D'Antoni, having a floor general, well, he has gold floor general anyway, but um, using him, some catch and shoots. He does have gold corner specialist too. His shot is hard to time from the corner though, just because the... Uh, if you're using meter off, it's not. If you're using meter on, that meter gets really small, and he has a faster jump shot, so it's a little bit harder to time. So you're going to have to know your release times on that and not rely on the meter as much, um, especially if you're shooting from the corners, which, to be honest with you, he's going to be your primary ball handler. It's pretty unlikely he's going to be shooting from the corners too often. But when he does, you'd like him to be able to hit. So his mid-range is nice. Like His mid-range is a 94. It's money. Um, the moving shot's okay. If you come off a screen and you hit this, you'll be good quite a bit. Call for a screen, come over here, hit that moving mid-range. You'll hit that at a pretty decent clip. I don't think he misses that too often. That was just bad on my part. I don't know what's up with that. Step back's okay. It's not anything to write home about, but it's all right. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm liking his jump shot a little bit. I feel like I am going to struggle with this card, though, just based on the fact that online it's going to be a harder to time. For me, base 98 and Tony Parker base, Dwayne Wade base. Oh, shit, his dribble moves are nice, though. That behind the back is really lethal. It's not as good as, like, Isaiah Riders. Isaiah Riders, for me, is absolutely incredible, but that one's pretty nice. If you can get that time nice enough, he's going to be able to hit that quite a bit. Um... Okay, I like his uh, running turnaround. So if you get stopped at the rim and you run back and shoot a quick jump shot while you're uncontested, he'll be able to hit that pretty frequently, um, especially if you get that timing down. So just run out, do that. Yeah, it should be pretty good. I haven't timed one right, but all right. Let's shoot a couple more threes, get the timing down a little bit. Okay, or don't get the timing down a little bit. All right, where are you guys at? I swear, last year we did not have this problem. 
like this year the people who go and get the ball just legitimately like don't try at all oh man yeah this is gonna be a tough jump shot at the time for me so let's go play some tto uh we're down four to three so it's not looking great already but we're all right hit that tony good three he does have like, like i said that lightning fast release with those good dribble moves he'll be able to get off a lot of threes he's going to be a three hunting point guard um he's not going to be incredibly good on any other aspects good defense i'm rocking tim duncan with him um they don't have a dynamic duo but i foresee them giving them a dynamic duo at some point so he's either getting one with manu or timmy d one of those three two of those three guys are going to get some together i'm just not sure what it is so it's six six he does have that uh hall of fame quick first step which is really helpful oh that's too deep for tim duncan i mean it's not i just didn't time it very well but i think it's something that uh yeah well he does have that quick first step i don't know how helpful it is because he is on the smaller side and he can't really dunk but rim running works really well this year hit that good three like i said if you if they're playing off-ball defense, you should be able to uh, shake them off with a quick dribble move and get that three off pretty quick before the CPU can react and contest it at all. Um, like I said, it's just a matter of hitting the shot, which if you've been watching my videos, especially from like back in 2K20, like you know I'm not a fan of this, uh, this base. Um, I wasn't a fan of it last year, especially with quick draw. Yeah, I might as well hit it Michael Cooper and it, yep. All right, so let's go play some Unlimited real quick. So we're up against Chauncey, Brandon Roy, Dominique, Elvin Hayes, and Moses Malone. So he has no spacing, but uh, I don't like Chauncey Billups on Tony Parker just because of the uh, high clamps, which if he has upgraded it to Hall of Fame clamps, it's going to be hard to get past him. And he has Hall of Fame Intimidator, so that's going to make me miss a lot of shots. On a release I'm not comfortable with, that's kind of sketch. So... I apologize if this is about to be a bad gameplay right off the rip just because of that like i'm gonna struggle against uh yeah i'm gonna struggle against chauncey chauncey billups is one of the best defensive point guards in the game so this is actually a good test to see how good uh, offensively tony parker is all right what are you gonna do chauncey uh okay good defense malone and elvin hayes are about to eat me alive in the middle though like, Tim Duncan and Josh Smith are not going to be able to hold it down. Sorry about the cut right there. I just... Do you really want to see me changing my settings? I don't think you do. So, all right, Tony Parker's pretty... He's fast, but he's a little wily and hard to control. There we go. Good dime to Tim Duncan. That's a connection that's been forming for years. I will say, as a peer distributor, um, Tony Parker's going to be a really good card. Now, granted, you can kind of do it with a lot of different point guards, but as far as with that speed... And the fact that he can blow past defenders, um, he's going to be able to get a lot of your guys open just based on that. Oh, he bit on that one. There we go. Hit that. He does have that gold difficult shots bad, so he's going to be able to hit little mid-ranges off the dribble. I don't trust him doing it with three-pointers like I would like Allen Houston at the beginning of the year. But at the same time, oh, God. All right, Josh Smith. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm wondering if that 99 hard foul tendency is going to come into play at some point. Um, that's higher than like Dino Rajas last year. And you, if you played with Dino Raja, like Pink Diamond Dino last year, like you know how often he got kicked out of games for no reason. So I'm interested to see if that comes into play at any point. He does have those lightning fast dribble moves, but Chauncey's just there, man. There's nothing I can do about it. There we go. Oh, that was ugly. Oh, get the board, dude. Brandon Roy's so annoying. I hate Brandon Roy. Like, I love him as a card. I hate playing against him. I know he's about to dunk all over me at some point. Yeah, that lack of clamps badge is, is rough, especially when you're running into guys with gold or above quick first step. Oh, yeah, pull up dribble moves, hit that three. And he missed the three. 11% coverage. Good on my opponent for getting over there and getting that. Ooh, big Dominique dunks. I stand firm on my stance that Isaiah Ryder is better than Dominique Wilkins. Like, I, I'm firm on this stance. <laughs> I know it's not technically true. Yeah, that was just bad defense on my part. Good uh, good off-ball steal by him. There you go. Good defense, Julius Irving. Yeah, I couldn't get the board. Elvin Hayes. There's Brandon Roy again being annoying. Get past Michael Cooper, though. Good luck. He's got Hall of Fame clamps. Impressive. 
Josh Smith just cannot stop fouling people. He doesn't even have that high of a foul tendency, so I don't really know what that's all about, but whatever. It's cool. Quit mean mugging my team, dude. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. Josh Smith has been very annoying for me lately. Like, he's uh, I like him as a card. I do regret locking in for him. Um, I'm going to try to lock in for Detlef Schrempf later on, but... We're going to see. I might not, just because I don't really want JR at the end of the year anyway. So it's like, what's the point? We'll see. He looks really good, though. I will say that. Tony Parker is kind of struggling against uh, Chauncey. Chauncey Billups is, like I said, one of the best defensive point guards in the game. So, whew. But I'm starting to figure out his jump shot and his dribble moves and stuff like that. And I'm going to find a way to score against Chauncey Billups. I'm not really too worried about it. It's just going to take me a little bit. I love 2K, though, now. Um... For the gameplay videos, uh, they specifically like to, like, only when I'm recording, I swear, they like to show up. There we go. Hit that. That is something that Tony Parker brings to the table. That's always something he's dangerous with. Um, I actually really liked his diamond card last year. His diamond card was really good, and I used to use it pretty frequently. Uh, just because he had a lightning fast release and could do this little stupid crossover move that was ridiculous. Are you going to let the whole time out? wind down oh it's me I'm, I'm the reason that it's that it's winding down what should i do should i take him out ah, sleep man sleep man i'm down i'm down with that he might get a little sleepy but it's all good no big deal uh oh he has dikembe and bob koozie okay bob koozie's in here things should uh get a little easier for me he has bob koozie and pistol pete out here now so i should be able to uh yeah, that's going to happen. I should be able to score with Tony Parker now. I'm not really too worried about it. Yup. Get off me. Hit that. Splash. Yeah, you should probably put Chauncey Billups back in, man, because it's about to get abusive out here in a second. Uh, <laughs> that steady shooter badge is uh, kind of annoying. First off, they just... Nice steal. They just had to kill Tony Parker. They couldn't give him range extender. I mean, I get it. In real life, Tony Parker wasn't really like a... Ooh, green light off the catch. Um, he wasn't an incredible three-point shooter, and he's not, like, pulling up from Curry range, so, like, it's kind of realistic that he wouldn't be able to have that. Um, Tony Parker was just kind of an average defender, too, so I guess it makes sense he wouldn't have clamps, but this is also a video game. It's got, a, like, a really important badge, so, like, why would you make it so I can't even add it to Tony Parker? It's kind of annoying. Dude, they do Tony Parker so dirty in 2K every year, I swear. Hit that green light. Oh, uh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> you're in trouble now I'm starting to figure out his release that's about to be bad well until you bring Chauncey Billups back in and I miss every single white that it, I you know I take because he's got Hall of Fame Intimidator should have shot that with Michael Cooper what am I doing uh hey uh, I'm pressing X button what all right that's cool yeah all right 2k that's that's fine yeah I didn't want to shoot it I wasn't you know repeatedly pressing the button to shoot the ball or anything no big deal um yeah okay cool whatever so far, though, I will say I don't know what Tony Parker's price is going to be. Um, if he's down at, like, the 50 60 k mark, I think he's actually a really good point guard, though you're going to have to deal with the fact that he doesn't have any defensive badges. Oh, he just broke me. That was just bad. Uh, I got bailed by 2K right there. Oh, we take over, and I miss. Jesus. Um, you will have to deal with the lack of defensive badges. You can give him like Intimidator and Interceptor, which will help out quite a bit, but that lack of clamps is huge. So we're in the second quarter now. Um, our bench unit came in and did some work, so we're sitting pretty good. There you go. Good dime. Good defense by Mutombo. Nothing I could do right there. That was just played really well. Uh, Brandon Roy, I hate you. There we go. Good board by Timmy D. There we go. Tony Parker. Pull up mid range. Yep all day i see matumbo down there i'm not going even remotely near the paint i'm shooting that mid-range every single time uh, matumbo is probably one of the only cards in this game that i trust to actually defend the paint all right josh smith has three fouls already he just like can't stop fouling brandon roy i don't know if they have some like personal beef from years past that i'm not aware of that they programmed into the game but like i've never seen josh smith foul like this I mean, he gets a couple fouls a game, but, like, fouling one single player three times already. Hit that. Ugh. Bad timing on my part. 
Um, as you can see, though, you can get that shot off against a CPU very easy. You just have to get used to Tony Parker's timing, which is a little different than the point guards I usually use, so it's a little bit faster. Ooh, what the... Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, you got Elvin Hayes on him? Oh, it's... Oh. Uh, Alright. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing badly right now, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of Tony Parker right now at all. Um, I just, I just think there's better, better point guard options. Like, honestly, like being completely honest, and this is like non-biased when I say this. Yeah, that was just a bad offensive series. I honestly don't think Tony Parker is even better than Richie Guerin. Like, I really don't like purely, especially for the badges that you can add. I just, I don't think he is like Richie Guerin. I can pull up and hit that pretty much every time. That could just be me being really good with Richie's jump shot as well. But at the same time, I don't think that's the case. We're up 31 to 29, so I mean we have a lead. Drive in. I didn't think I didn't think he was gonna. Yeah, I thought he was gonna collapse for sure. I was wrong. There we go. Now this time I'm taking it in. There we go. Tony Parker can drive the lane pretty decent. He has a couple good finishing badges, and you can add more to him. Um, I recommend probably doing that if you do insist on using Tony Parker, just to give him at least one more element to his game. All right, Josh Smith, Jesus, dude. At least I wasn't against Brandon Roy this time. But yeah, adding some finishing badges, like Giant Slayer is probably an important badge to add to Tony Parker just because he's a smaller guy. And if you're driving on bigger dudes like a Chris Stops or like any of the guys I'm playing against right now, it's going to help to have that badge so you can get layups over him. That's going to be kind of clutch. Um, I guess I wish you could put more shooting badges on him. Range Extender would be so clutch for Tony Parker. If you could put Range Extender on him, he'd honestly be great. If they just let me put range, I wouldn't even mind that I couldn't put uh, uh just bad timing. I wouldn't even mind the lack of clamps. Like the lack clamps isn't as important this year as it was last year. Like it's still an important badge, but if a card has high lateral quickness and you're playing on ball defense, like clamps isn't a dead bringer yet. Um the animation for quick first step isn't as OP as it was last year. So that being said, having a card without clamps still sucks. Like <laughs> don't hear that and get it twisted like you don't need clamps like no it helps like a lot um that clamps animation on a quick first step guy is huge i mean if you're playing someone like derrick rose you're gonna get eaten alive with tony parker there we go good move i got 20 points with him <clears throat> so we got three minutes left in the fourth we're up 55 to 48 we're uh, holding it down i mean i got 24 points with tony parker which is kind of low for my gameplays but um to be completely honest i'm just not very good with tony parker and uh yeah, just the range extender, lack of range extender, having Chauncey Billups on him, it's not been great for game. Oh, yeah, you got broke. Green light, let's go. 27 points. For oh, of course you're going to quit. Of course you're going to quit. All right, anyways, that's been the gameplay video for Tony Parker. Um, I would say if you can get him down for like 20 or 30K, which is highly unlikely for a diamond at this stage in the game, he's worth it. But other than that, I really just don't think he is. I think Richie Guerin's a better option for a lot less MT. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the Patreon, especially subscribe. I appreciate all of you.